What's up, Greg, and welcome back to another episode of Getting That Coin. I think you and I both know that there comes a time in everyone's life where you decide, you know what? I think I want to be rich now. I think I'm about done being poor. I would like to be rich. I would like to be rich beyond my wildest dreams now. And also, I am a man. I want to be rich and I am a man. I think everyone pretty much can relate to those things. Which is why I'm so glad that these Instagram accounts exist. Ones like Investing Alpha, Business Investing Finance, Male Soul, The Villain Skull, obviously the number one motivational page, and Bad Boy Quotes, the number one epic motivational page. These accounts kind of all fall into this genre of like motivational posts about being a boss ass dude, being a being a big boss man, a big boss boy. BBB, big boss boy. And they're really interesting, and I think they've got a lot of great advice for us dudes, because we're all, we're all dudes here, right? We're all boys, just making sure. There's no girls watching this, right? It's got some great advice for us on how to be a boss ass dude, how to take our life to the next level, both mentally, and financially. These accounts have a couple different themes of the things that they post, so we're gonna go through them one by one. The first one we're gonna talk about is relationship advice. Because you can't get your money right if you can't even get your love life right. These accounts tend to talk about relationships and women in not necessarily the nicest way or the most positive way. In fact, almost almost completely in an overwhelmingly negative way. I guess because they get in the way of the grind, you know? You can't, you can't be on your grind if you have a girlfriend, can you? No. That's why everyone with a girlfriend is homeless Does, and, and doesn't have a job. Okay, this is a good example. Love is easy, but King is busy. Yeah, some of these kind of read like the person who made it actually does want a relationship, but they, they just haven't been able to get into one. Oh, <laughs> love? Oh, that old thing? Yeah, that's... That's easy, dude. Please, I used to love. I used to love all the time back in the day, and I, I was good at it. And I could do that. I could do a love. I could do a love. I could do a love with my eyes closed and my hands tied behind my back. But that was before I was on my grind. And unfortunately for you, the king is busy now. Being alone has a power very few can handle. <laughs> oh. You see what I mean? It's like, oh, it's, well, you think I'm sad just because I'm single? Or alone, as it says here? No! No! Oh, please, dude. I am... I... I am so powerful. You couldn't last a day in my shoes, all right? The amount of power I wield is inconceivable. You would crumble underneath its weight. I'm more than just single, bitch. I'm alone. Totally. No friends. No family. No girlfriend. The people in your life can't have power over you if you have no people in your life. That's why I've isolated myself. Every girl is a top gamer when it comes to playing with feelings. Damn, that's kind of sad. <laughs> this guy has clearly had his heart broken. Very recently, he has not gotten over it yet. But do you see what I mean about these pages not exactly being like pro-women? Like they seem to be of the mindset that every girl just wants to distract you from your, from your work and ruin your life emotionally. That's why you never talk to a woman. Oh, your crush texted you? Don't respond. A woman coworker comes up to you and tells you that your report was supposed to be done yesterday and you're making your entire team look bad? Do not engage. One minute you're talking about work and the next you're showing up to your niece's funeral high on horse tranquilizer. Why? Women. Be like a villain. Never chase a girl. Yeah, be like a villain. They don't chase girls. Be like Ted Bundy. Boobs doesn't attract me anymore. <laughs> This makes it seem like a parody account. Is this real? Why is it a picture of the Joker? And also, what does he mean? What does he mean anymore? Yeah, that's right. I used to like boobs. I really did. But then I did a little something called work and making money and being the Joker. And guess what? Yep, you guessed it. I'm more of an ass guy now. If you don't come from a rich family, then a rich family must come from you. Huh? How did we go from stop chasing girls no relationships, boobies bad, to... You know what, you should start a family. You should find a really nice girl and have a family with her. Like right now. Do that now. Okay, so, so far, our steps to getting rich, relationship-wise, are stay alone forever, never even look at a woman, because she will emotionally destroy you, meet a nice girl and have four kids together, and profit. I'm so confused. Like, most of these are making the case that if, like, you're... 
an idiot for trying to make money and have a relationship at the same time as if you can't do the two things at once. As if like a relationship is this huge distraction. If that was the case, wouldn't like, mo wouldn't most billionaires be single? But like every billionaire I can think of is either married or in a relationship or at least was in a relationship when they became extremely rich. Bill Gates is married, Jeff Bezos was married, Elon Musk is I believe dating a cyborg, but that still counts. I just feel like that's such a weird piece of advice for them to really cling to. Like you can't make money if you're dating a woman. All right guys, that's enough talking about relationships. I think we've got that covered. Now it's time to talk about our minds. We gotta get into the millionaire mindset. Oh nice, another Joker one. If you're good at something, Never do it for free. Why is the Joker giving us advice about how to pull us up from our bootstraps? I don't know if y'all have seen the movie The Joker that just came out like a year ago, but I feel like it was very far from like a, a, a movie about an entrepreneur. It was, um, it's actually kind of the opposite. Also, what kind of, I mean, if you're good at something, never do it for free? Ever? Mm. Wow, honey, you really outdid yourself with this steak. Oh. Thank you. You really like it? Absolutely. You, you're a good cook. Wow, that's, that's crazy. That'll be two hundred dollars. What? Yeah, for the steak. I'm a professional chef now. What are you talking about? Since when? Since just now. Now fork over the cash, or unfortunately, I will have to ask for the steak back. All right? I'm not getting stiff twice in one day. You did this to someone else today. <laughs> Yeah, I wish that was the same situation. Today when I was walking home from work, I saw a nine-year-old kid getting bullied by some teens. I stepped in and told them to stop, but they ended up beating the shit out of me instead. For so long, in fact, that they actually got tired eventually and left. Turns out I was so good at being a human shield that you know your boy had to charge the kid. Wow, that's really fucked up. Yeah, tell me about it. Little twerp, little bitch didn't pay up. No, I mean you're being an asshole. You, you know what, guys, get in here. Come on in. What? Hey, look, it's that dude we beat up earlier. No! Yeah, what a fucking loser. Hey, I hope you have $200 on you. What? Why? Because we're really good at kicking your ass. No! Whoa! Oh, fuck! Okay, a lot of these ones with like the skulls in them or the Joker in them are from this account called The Villain Skull. I guess they just really like how intense the skulls look in the picture. It's really weird how aggressive they look. But every time I look at one of these, I feel like I should be screaming the caption just because of how the picture looks. I don't have a plan B! It's do or die! Oh, so that's how you set yourself up for a good financial future. By not having any sort of backup plan. It's do or die! I will become rich from my very first idea, my very first business idea, or I will perish. Confidence is- <laughs> Confidence is the first thing people see in my eyes. Huh. Yep. Confidence. That's what I'm getting here. That's what I see in these eyes. What's going on everyone? I'm the richest motherfucker you'll ever meet. Sure, I might scare people off sometimes, but you know what? It's just because I'm so confident. They can see it in my eyes and my smile and the way that I just scream and cackle down the street at night. Confidence, baby. Sometimes when you give a fuck, that fuck fucks you up. Guys, in order to dominate in life and truly become the best big boss baby that you are meant to be, you have to start not giving a fuck about anything. Because sometimes, that fuck can fuck you up. <coughs> that makes sense actually. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I've heard motivational speakers say that before. Because success isn't just some accomplishment that you reach, it's a state of mind, okay? And if you want to achieve this state of mind, if you want to take your business to the next level, then you have to rewire your brain. Okay, you've got to stop caring about the numbers. You've got to stop caring about what other people might think. You have to stop caring about what I'm saying right now. Wait, he wants us to stop caring about what he's saying? Wait, yeah, I'm confused. You have to stop caring about food, about water, about breathing. What is he doing? Is he just listing everything? Wait, holy shit, is he? Jimmy John's Turkey Club. Mitt Romney. Okay, yeah, he definitely is. Elbow grease. Beeswax. Spongebob. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Hey, excuse me. Wait, where did he go? Hello? You have to stop caring about existing. What the fuck? Listen, bitch. Before you start messing with me, you should know that I don't play games. I win them. God, so aggressive. 
Starting it off with, listen, bitch. Also just this picture. It's like a, some kind of day of the dead businessman ascending into the heavens with smoke shooting out of his head. <laughs> he's like unleashing godly powers while he's saying, listen, bitch. Actually, you know what? He's probably alone. This is probably the power that they were talking about before. Once you become truly alone, this is what you turn into. You turn into this floral skull monster and you you have the ability to float. You're just like roaming around, roaming around town, going to business conventions like Listen, bitch. Okay, I think that's enough of the millionaire mindset. I think we got our heads in the right place. I just have one question. When have you ever heard an actual rich person talk like this? Like, I mean like a really, really rich person. I don't wanna defend Mark Zuckerberg or Jeff Bezos. I don't necessarily think they're the best people. But when have you heard them ever say anything like this? Like, women just wanna play you. They wanna play you like a video game and step all over you and shit on you and poop on you. They wanna shit and poop on you. Never do anything you're good at for free. That's right, I forgot about the time Warren Buffett realized he had a really thick butt and started an OnlyFans, because he realized, you know, you never do something you're good at for free. Nobody's seeing that fat cake for free. All right, the time has finally come. We got our relationships right. We got our mind right. Now let's actually get into making some cash. I found this video from this dude named Jason Capital. He's kind of like a motivational speaker. He, he does seminars about how to grow your business, how to make more money, how to make connections and stuff like that. So let's check out what advice he's got. It says, if you want to be a millionaire, watch this. Watch this, this is gonna be fucking crazy. <laughs> this is gonna be wild. The easiest, fastest way to reset your financial thermostat is to one, stop hanging with broke people and two, start hanging with people who have more money than you. Raise your hand if you know at least like five of your friends, not you know, but five of your friends are millionaires. A couple of you. So 90% of this room, not. Nah. How many of you want to be millionaires? 100% wants to be millionaires, only 10% hangs out with a lot of millionaires. Okay, I get it. In order to reset my financial thermostat, which is something that I do want, I have to start hanging out with millionaires. How? Dear Jay-Z, I'm coming over for dinner tonight. This is not up for debate. We're friends now, best friends. And I would do anything for you. Please Venmo me $10 million. In 1978, Richard Branson bought Necker Island for $180,000, more than 96% discount off the asking price. In 2006, the island was valued at $60 million, a 33,233% increase over what he paid for it. What an investment. Okay, shit, finally some practical advice that we can actually use. I finally understand how to get rich. All we have to do is this, is this. What was it again? Buy an island? Easy. I just have to somehow get an insane 96% discount on an island and still pay $180,000 for it. And then all I have to do after that is wait 20 years. And then just like that, I'm rich, bitch. Well guys, I think it's safe to say that we're basically rich now. But what do we do now? We've got all this money. What are we supposed to do with it? Well, luckily, while these accounts aren't necessarily geared towards showing you the rich life, they do occasionally post some motivation, some things that you have to look forward to once you make it. Hi, I have a boyfriend. He works for me. Hi, handsome. Okay. So now that we're the bosses, the big boss, boys. The, all the women will come crawling to us. <laughs> fuck! We don't want women crawling to us, do we? What the fuck? This is gonna throw off our grind! All of these are such toxic ways of looking at girls. It's like, hey, if you're a really shitty dude and you don't take care of yourself, don't worry. Someday when you have a lot of money, that's all girls care about, so they'll be crawling all over you. Women, like, all they want is a rich guy and they'll leave their boyfriends to be with anyone, anyone that is above their boyfriend in the hierarchy of the workplace. Huh, fuck, my boyfriend's boss? <laughs> Shit. My boyfriend's manager at Staples about to make me act up. Okay, but if we can't have the girls, at least we can have the cars. Let's check this out. <laughs> Wow, what an awesome invention. You know what I've always hated about normal car keys? How you just press it one time and the door unlocks. This just makes so much more sense. It makes so much sense that you would have to tap, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times 
to open your car door. And once you unlock your car, then you get to go on Instagram or YouTube or you get a call from Elon Musk. Well guys, I'm pretty proud of what we accomplished today. I think it's safe to say we're all filthy stinking rich. It's just weird that these accounts exist in the first place without any kind of name attached to them and so many people follow them. Cause it's like, if you're gonna take advice about how to get rich, wouldn't you wanna take the advice from someone who has done that? And a lot of it's just such simple advice too. Like they literally never tell you how to actually like take any steps towards building wealth. It's all just like, you gotta break up with your girlfriend and the grind never stops and never do anything for free. Doesn't make me feel good, but you know what it does make me feel? Rich. Anyway, speaking of all that, it's time to talk about our sponsor, HelloFresh. So, you wanna learn about HelloFresh, huh? <laughs> Too bad, get lost, loser. Psst. Hey guys, don't worry about him. I'll tell you about HelloFresh. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Boy oh boy do I love HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. And let me tell you why. I've personally been using HelloFresh for quite a while now and it has made a great improvement in my life. I find myself not having to go to the grocery store as often, not having to plan meals as much, not getting stressed out about what I'm eating as much. Cause I know at the very least, I've got HelloFresh. I've got three meals coming every week. The way it works is every week you get to choose three meals that they will send you. You can choose more if you want. They send you all of the ingredients pre-packaged in the amount that you'll need, which means you reduce food waste and they take out all the prep work for you so you don't have to go to the grocery store you don't have to take out the appropriate amount of anything they take out all that stressful stuff and you can get dinner on the table in like 30 minutes sometimes even 20 with some of their quick and easy options 30 minutes is pretty good considering the average grocery trip takes 41 minutes also did I mention that the carbon footprint of a HelloFresh meal is 25% lower than a meal made from grocery store food you can add extra dinners you can add lunches you can even add extra stuff like garlic bread which makes it very flexible if you want to have an extra meal some week or you know you're gonna want some nice lunch you can just add it, it's great. Another thing that I also love about them is that in 2019, they donated over 2.5 million meals to people in need. And this year they're stepping up their donations as well amid the COVID crisis. Again, I really enjoy HelloFresh and if you hate going to the grocery store as much as I do, then I know that you'll love it too. So if you wanna check it out, use my code 80 trulygreg to get a total of $80 off plus free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to hellofresh.com to redeem and for more details. The link will be in the description. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for checking out HelloFresh. All right guys, thank you for watching this video. If you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. Greg is a jumble of letters on my floor, but it's also the fastest growing army on YouTube. We're the strongest army, the fastest growing army, and also the oldest army. We're all hundreds of years old. We are all just immortal beings traveling through time. So if you wanna, if you wanna be one of those, Make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications. I'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where this video isn't over now. Bye. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. You'll find something else to watch. Or just watch this video. I know we had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. Woo. But you can't stay on this end screen forever. No. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. So why are you still watching this?